am Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about what it takes to qualify for a mortgage. Hi, thanks so much for watching my video blog. I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. And you know, it's come to my attention that recently home buyers think it's much more difficult to qualify for a mortgage than it actually is. Now granted, back in 2007, there were some pretty strict requirements put into place for purchasing a home. And many of those requirements are still in place. You know, from the contrast from 2004, 2005, when if you could fog a mirror, you could get a loan. Obviously that's a big change. However, it's not as difficult as most people think. They actually did a, sur a survey, Fannie Mae did a survey, and they found that most borrowers thought that you needed a minimum score of 650 to purchase a home. Well, that's actually not the case. You actually need a credit score of only 580. Now, if you do have a credit score of 580, there are some extra requirements that may be put into place. However, it is still possible to get a mortgage. Now, the survey also found that most borrowers thought that a minimum of 10% down is required. And that is absolutely not the case. In addition to a 3% down conventional loan, you can also get a 3.5% down FHA loan, or there are even some grant programs which allow you for to put as little as 1% down. And of course, there's always VA loans if you are one who served in the military, and you can take advantage of 0% down as well. So there's really a lot of great options for people to be able to put a less money down than 10%. Now, if you do put 20% down, it gets rid of mortgage insurance, of course, but sometimes the amount and the rate of uh, which people can save is not the, the same and the interest rates and appreciation go up higher and faster than people can save. So we'll look at that if that's a good option for you. The other thing that people think is that they have too much debt to buy a home. Now you can actually have a maximum of 50 to 56% of debt depending on the loan program that you utilize. So that's including your mortgage payment. Now obviously it's great to have no debt going into buying a home, but again, it's not always practical for everyone, especially if you have a lot of student loans. So. If you want to find out more and if it's a good fit for you to go ahead and purchase a home or upgrade to a bigger one, give us a call. We'll be happy to look at this information and see if you can qualify to get your next home. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends. Thanks so much.